We're out here at Nevada City. It's a museum, but it's a replica of a real old western town in Montana. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Virginia City and Nevada City. We're Montana. ghost town, ghost town exploring. Of course, to be a miner, this is the pre-boarding house. You must pay with $20 week in gold dust. We don't take any greenbacks. Pallets go upstairs, two meals a day, breakfast and dinner. They would have had dill pickles, pickled beets and that on the tables. And that's to get any nutrition that they could out of that vinegar. Because after the long winter, they just had root crops left. Of course, no fresh greens. They are not in yet. And anything would have been canned. I was one of the wealthiest in town. I bet you were. <laughs> as long as I kept a clean boarding house and had good food, uh -huh. I would charge what I wanted. How, how many days? About 20. 10 could sleep wow. between here and the 10. What's up, Sheriff? Dealing with that old Wayne Berg again. That'll get you every time. Causes trouble every turn. Got to chain him up to one of those beds again tonight. <laughs> the post office. Go get some mail. Neat. I wouldn't have thought they would have had uh, actual post boxes back, back then. Some of these are not original. Oh. This has been restored. Remember I read that to you? In yeah, the yeah. And she said that, well, the there they are, drug them all over from all over the state. Yeah, and there are a couple of original parts. What you making for us today? I'm gonna try my hand at some hinges, but we're gonna make a, or we're just gonna make a really nice small loop, kind of something like that. This would be put on a, the door for chicken coops. And I'll punch holes down here on a plate, okay. and then we'll cut it down. We can obviously attach it to the woodwork, and then we'll make another one to match. can a guy get some peace around here? <laughs> <laughs> Had to sit on the john. So if you're out at Yellowstone National Park and you want a good day adventure and see some old Western history, I highly suggest taking a short ride up to Nevada City and Virginia City. There are two living ghost towns. For all you kids who complain about going to school, you didn't have to go into a house like this. What you build? The cup handle. It's gonna look like that cup handle over there. There's wire reinforcement. Tim plate, which is tim plated steel. In the 1860s, the way you got tim plated steel was you took your steel sheet, dipped into a molten tin bath, and pulled it out. That's called hot dip tin. So originally, all tin work was done using these forms called stakes. Because all, because everything a tin smith makes starts from a flat sheet like this. Okay. Wants any kind of anything besides flat, he needs to shape it himself. Canning is an industry. Well, it was invented in France in the early 1800s. The first tin cans are, were made in England. At that time, 1820s, they're using, uh, instead of steel, they're using iron to make their cans. That's how the stuff's growing on the actual roof. You know, probably kept things cooler. Oh yeah, I'm sure it did. And maybe even warmer. Probably worked both ways. You can even bring your puppies along and explore the town of Nevada City. Two, two different seats. Look, you can even slide out the poop, his and hers. Oh, oh, we can go poop together? See, it's a double seat. Oh, now that's romantic. That is not romantic. Reminds me of a Pendleton Underground tour, learning about Hop Sing. Oh yeah, that was so awesome. Check out the card above. I'm the resident basket weaver. 
Uh, most of the material I work with is rattan, which is a vine that grows in Asia. It has a hard outer shell, which is, you can come feel it if you want. This is what becomes caning, which is what you see on chair seats. And this is the inside portion, which is what I make most of my baskets out of. I have some examples of different materials. This one is made out of cedar, sedge, and bear grass. This is a sweet grass basket. All of the materials came from South Carolina. This is done in the traditional fashion of the gullah. It's sweet grass, palmetto leaves, and then for added decoration, we have bulrush and long needle pine. Willow is the most common material to be weaving with because willow grows pretty much anywhere in the United States. So you want shoots that are about a year old. They're no bigger than a pencil in diameter. You can weave with them green, but then you wind up with the problem like I have on this one. This one was woven green, but now that's dried all out, uh, it's loosened up. Nice. Oh, you're welcome. Whether you're in Croatia or Mexico or <laughs> Virginia City, you got ice cream, don't you, April? Pretty much. What you got today? Rare is the time that I can avoid the temptation. <laughs> and this is homemade. We were just watching it. Yeah. I've got huckleberry and strawberry. I'm all about the berries. You're a berry. I am. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living, living life.